What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Apex Legends. Now, of course, this was a game that was released free on PC, PS4, and Xbox back in February. I think it was February the 4th was the exact date that it was released. And I did play it a little bit back when it was released in the Season 1. I would say probably no more than 10 hours. Now, while I like the style of the game, it's like Titanfall. Of course, Respawn was a Titanfall developer. I really enjoyed Titanfall 1 and 2. I like the movement. And this game pretty much looks like Titanfall. The weapons, the way the players move. And of course, Respawn was also known for making COD 4 Modern Warfare 2. So, it is a very fast-paced, arcade style feeling shooter. And that is the one thing that I did enjoy. But, at the same time, I'm not a huge fan of Battle Royale because it does seem to be a little bit slow at times. And I'll get into some more about that here in just a minute. But if you're a, a person that has not played this, it's only been out for five months. If you're looking for something fun to play... I've gotten back into playing recently and have really been enjoying it. Uh, but there are some things that I don't like as well that goes on within the game. But it is a fun game, like I said, plus it is free. And it's not a game that you should feel like, if you get into it now, that you're going to be way behind. Now, of course, you're going to have to learn the weapons, learn the mechanics, learn where to go, where not to go, all that kind of stuff. But it's not like if you were just trying to pick up and play Fortnite, for example, because there's two aspects in Fortnite. You know, you're going to have to learn to fight. And learn the map and all that kind of stuff, but you also have to learn to build. So, this basic, for like the basics of the game, it's a lot easier to learn now. Of course, the longer you play, you can start learning more advanced style tactics and what weapons pair to well together and whatnot. But overall, if you're looking to something, like I said, looking for something fun to play that is free, I would definitely recommend it because, like I said, to begin with, I wasn't really enjoying it as much as I am now that I have come back and started playing during Season 2. The same kind of concept that Fortnite has. You have a battle pass that you can purchase. I have not purchased that, but it's like 10 bucks for the standard battle pass in the United States. I'm not sure what the premium battle pass kind of uh, price is. Of course, those give you weapon skins and uh, camos and stuff, you know, styles for the characters. Also, you can earn in-game currency. Uh, that in-game currency you can save and purchase the battle pass the next season, or you can use that in-game currency and purchase skins and, and camos throughout the season, and then, of course, buy the next battle pass with real-world money. Of course, some people do it either way. Whichever way you prefer is you know what your decision. But overall, I think it's a lot of fun. It does seem a bit slow in the ranked mode. I might make a video about ranked later, but overall, I think ranked could do with some changes. Ranked has a lot of sweaty players in it, and they seem to just play kind of slow in camp. And it's only 60 players in the lobby in total, so you don't have a lot of action unless you drop somewhere hot anyway. So the rank system is fun, but also, in my opinion, has a lot of issues. Now, the largest issue that I have had while playing this is connect uh, the connections are absolutely awful. And most people that I know that have played it for a long time said this didn't start until Season 2. Those connections in the game are horrible. You can just get kicked out of lobbies. You can uh, boot up the game and it will just kick you out automatically. You and your friends could be playing together. It may throw them in the game and not you. Hopefully, Respawn and EA will take a look at this and get it fixed. I've seen a lot of things on Twitter where they said they're working on it. So hopefully that will get fixed shortly. But overall, it's a game that, of course, is going to change. You know, Over time, there's been new characters and added, things added since the start. But the metas have changed, and that's just how all games go. But if you have not played it, or if you played it uh, back when it was first released, and you have not come back to it yet, I would definitely say give it a look and see what you think. Of course, guys, if you've been playing Apex Legends, leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. And if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.